Hey, before this video starts, I just want to say thank you for the support. I really do appreciate it. I'm trying to get 100,000 subscribers, so if you want to help me out, make sure to subscribe. Now enjoy the video. Who's on my door at this hour? May I help you? Uh, sure. Come in. So... <clears throat> what is it that you need? Um, you kinda disturbed me when I was sleeping, but that's alright. So, what do you need? A favor? What kind of favor do you need at me at this time of night? Can I wait till tomorrow? Alright. What is it? Hmm? You're serious. Didn't your parents teach you how to shave? Ah, uh, I see. Well, in that case, come here. Well, obviously, you came here for a reason. So, I'm going to help you with that reason. Follow me. Alright. So, there's a few different ways you could shave. If you're a girl, you usually shave around your body and on your legs. But for a guy, you usually shave around your chest area and your face. Me personally, I don't shave my chest. But, I do shave my face sometimes, but only when I need to. This is a regular razor. You can use this razor to get more fine line and more of a cleaner shave. And this is a buzzer. You use this just to buzz down extra long hairs you have. Usually, I would use this one first if you have a longer beard. If you want to trim down, that's fine. But if not... I was going to get to that part if you let me finish. So, like I was saying, shaving cream. It helps a lot when you have a bigger beard. As of right now, I need a little bit of a shave myself, but I'm not going to do that till the morning. So, I'll just teach you how to use it. It's really simple, but you also have to be careful because razors and buzzers have sharp, or just sharp in general. You don't want to cut yourself when you're shaving your face or whatever you're shaving. So you gotta be careful. You, you have to be, you have to have enough pressure to cut the hair, but not an, a lot of pressure to cut into your skin. And the sh the shaving cream helps with that. You put some on your face, and usually it goes pretty well with the razor. And also, if you want to actually get the hairs off of you, you go against the grain, not with it. Yes, against the grain, which means you'd be shaving up because some facial hair, well, facial hair, just hair in general, will use gravity to weigh itself down. So you shave up against the grind, and then most of your hair will be gone. 
Or, if you want to be fancy, you can go to the store and buy some hair removal shampoo thing. I only know of that because Miss Joe played a prank on me. And let's just say my body was silky smooth for about a few months. Anyway. But yes, shaving cream, buzzer, and razor. Use all three of these things and you should be good. You can shave in the shower. I've done it before. But that's only because I had a, a date one time and they didn't like body hair so I had to shave my chest. No, I didn't use shaving cream in the shower. Luckily, my chest is meaty enough for me to shave on without me getting hurt. Mm-hmm. Any time, kid. No. Is that all you needed from me tonight, or do you need something else? Oh. I see. Well, um... That case is, uh, classified. We're not really sure what happened that night. Usually, there would be police officers giving me information about what happened, but they couldn't find any trace of activity around. It's like they cleaned up their mess before they left that crime scene. I don't know what type of fool cleans up a crime scene before leaving their own crime, but it looks like they've done this before and they're trained to do so. They don't like to leave any clues behind. Especially fingerprints or footprints, because we barely could find anything. They must have done this really early in the morning, and then cleaned up the place after they were done. Because, yes, the jewelry was broken into, but no glass was found. The cases were busted open, but the broken glass was gone. Mm-hmm. Stole everything. Even the cash register money. But we'll find them. Don't worry. We always do. Mm-hmm. <sighs> you always... Yeah, you have to come in at such a late time, too. All right, kid. Is that all you needed from me? All right. If you don't mind, I would like to get back to sleep now. Not a problem, kid. Anything for my students. <sighs> Come here, kid. I'm not always going to be around. You do realize that, right? So you gotta learn this stuff way before you should have. That's how I was taught. Learning it at an earlier age will help you learn it as an adult. Because, well, that's how my dad taught me. So I guess I'm passing down my knowledge from what my father told me. I'm telling you. So, my advice, learn some adult hobbies. It'll help you in the long run. All right. Uh, 
I hope you have a good night. Yep, yep. Alright. Get back to bed. You have a test tomorrow. Yep. Good night, kid. I can't, I can't believe, believe that. that. Not, Not a lot, lot of people, people have a father to show, show them these type, type of things. things. I, I guess, guess it's alright to show them some ropes, ropes and show them what a dad could really be. be.